it's Liz from Old Stables Crafts. How are you this morning? That is a bit low. Let's move that up a tad. A little bit. Oh, it doesn't want to move. That's a bit better. Hello. Actually, it's not. It's worse. Ah. So let's... Now ah, that's even worse. So let's do... There we go-ish. So new setup. Just saying. Um... Hello, Nora. That's not too bad. Um, hello, Inika. I'm well, too. Um, unlike some of those who came back from Vegas with stinking colds or other things. Um, sorry, just throwing some bits in the bin. But yes, I am well. Good morning, Deborah from Michigan. Um, just, well, we are live. I was just about to say, I'll just check that we're live, but we are because I'm talking to you. So that's good. Um, I also have a slightly runny nose. Bear with me. Not a cold or anything worse, just a runny nose. So I have got a new camera set up. I'll be interested to hear what you think about it um, when we get going, because the camera that I'm using for my face is the one I used to use for going straight down. And I've got a brand new going straight down camera, which is supposed to be really good. Uh, Enika absolutely loves the translucent florals. Do you know it's the first time that I'm using it? Tracy's here. Hello, Tracy. Um, Tracy is, well, Tracy, Inika, and Nora are team members. Um, we don't see Tracy that often here. Tracy is one of those really busy people, and the more, the busiest she is, the busier she becomes. Um, but yes, lovely to see you here. Hello, Mary, who is also in the Netherlands. Um, so I have not used the translucent florals yet. Uh, indeed, it only arrived while I was in Vegas. Uh, but tomorrow, when the new catalogue goes live in which translucent florals features, um, there is also going to be some DSP, so pattern paper, going on to the online exclusives. And these are patent papers that, okay, let's go back one. Stamping up, sort of decide on their products a couple of years in advance. Um, so two years ago or thereabouts, there was an intention to have a second celebration as we have had in a couple of previous years. So there was going to be a second celebration around now. So to go uh, live at about the same time as the new Mini. But that was then canned, but they'd already um, arranged for some celebration papers to be made. And one of them goes with translucent florals. And they go live tomorrow. There are five, five, she says, holding up four fingers, five. Let me get my info. Um, Oh, the info doesn't actually tell you what the five are. But there's one that goes with translucent florals and there's one that goes with the St. Nicholas stamp set that are both in the new catalogue. There's some sticky back uh, glimmer paper, which is in gold and silver. There are some floral gingham, not floral, foiled ginghams. There's some amazing papers, which I will be getting. Um, so, yes. Right. OK, so who's joined? I said hello to Priscilla. Hello, Sherry, from a very hot Ontario. And she loves the translucent florals. Uh, looks like you had a great time in Vegas. I did, Sherry. It was amazing. And I'm indeed, I'm wearing my love T-shirt. Uh, we were all given a T-shirt and then taken by coach to see the Cirque du Soleil Beatles show. Um, I can understand why they gave us all T-shirts because herding 750 women on and off coaches in the middle of Vegas would be a challenge. Um, but if they've all got these on, it's it's good. Hello, Jane from Georgia, 6 a.m. Wow. Uh, Inika says, yay, I'm guessing that's to the paper that's coming. Uh, and good morning, Claire. So let me flip the camera down to there. So this is the new setup. I can't decide whether I want that light. That bleeds out quite a lot. Or this light. That I think that's better. Do you think that's better? 
it's there's a light coming in from there or I've got one that comes in from there. I think this is better. It feels a little odd because it feels a little dark, but uh, Leslie will be ordering the gold and silver adhesive back card. Can't blame you. Uh, Enika says I had a good guess. Right. So translucent florals, we've got you're the best. Happy birthday. Congratulations. Wishing you all the happiness in the world. And then these translucent florals. Now, um, I haven't chosen ink colours yet, but the thing with these is they are distinctive. So you need to use a not juicy ink pad. Sherry says that's better. Inika says the second's better. Good. Good. I thought it probably was. Um, I have used this new setup for um, some recorded items and... I've been, so I've been playing around a bit and I think this is better. Uh, and Priscilla always also says the second is better. Good. So yes, do not use ink pads that are too juicy. And I will be showing you how to resolve that if there is an issue with your ink pads. So stamp set, dies. So we've got dies for all of the images, including this one. Uh, and maybe not that one. Maybe not that one. But we've got this and that is that one, that is that one, that is that one, that is that one, that is that one. But we've also got spare images where you can make flowers. Over on the TV to continue watching. OK. It is indeed better. So it's a better setup generally. Priscilla likes the bundle because, as I say, I was told that this downward facing camera is the bees. Um, so fingers crossed that is correct. So yes you can make flowers and you've got centers for your flowers and all that good stuff. Um, so I thought I would bring in just to have some starting points the subtle six by six pattern paper and the glorious ginghams. So this obviously the glorious ginghams is much brighter um, kind of more definite than the pastels. So we've got Blueberry Bushel, Lemon Lime Twist, Pretty Peacock, Berry Burst, and I want to say that's Pecan Pie. And it is. So some of the new colours or returning colours and this one, which is brand new. So these four are all returning. This is a new one. Uh, right. So that's those. I'm going to start with something quite subtle. So I am going to be using the subtles. And I'm going to just grab a uh, bubble bath and soft sea foam. So bear with bubble bath and soft sea foam. So those two ink pads. Um, and I may need my pusher backer and I may need therefore a wet wipe. So let's start by doing some stamping. Um, so I'm going to do quite a lot of, you know, when I say tone on tone, I don't mean tone on tone. I mean, I'm going to stamp lots of things in the same colour. Tone on tone would be stamping bubble bath on bubble bath. Uh, and that's not what I'm doing. So we want a couple of the flowers and I'm not sure that a donut might fit. It does, just. There we go. So let me start by doing some stamping on some random scraps that I've got lying on my desk. So we're going to go there with that one and we may even fit everything on. Probably not, but anyway. So let's start with soft sea foam. And this one I think will be not too juicy because I've had it a while. Bubble bath might be a little juicy. That is still quite juicy. Let's turn that over. So I'm going to grab that and a wet wipe just so that I can clean it between colours. Uh, I should say these are biodegradable, plastic free and all that good stuff. They'll still take a while to degrade, but um, they should, they're, they're going to be less harmful to the planet than ordinary wet wipes. So I'm just using this to push the ink 
into the ink pad. Like that, let's just wipe that off. And this time we might get a different, oh, that's, oh, that's all right. It was just some something on the paper. That's a bit better. So this is a bit solid at the edge and this is a little less. So it's very subtle, the difference, but there is a difference. Is that going to fit in there? It will, but that means I have to use, I'll have to run things through the die cutter twice. Whereas if I'm clever, I can do everything at once. That should be a really random bit. So I'm going to assume that I need to push my bubble bath back as well. So again, grab my bone folder. This is a cheap and nasty plastic bone folder that I have had for years. But being plastic, it doesn't absorb the ink. And our bone bone folders, um, because they're natural, will absorb the ink. So they end up stained. Uh, is this bundle in the new mini or on the... Uh, it's in the new mini, but the matching paper which was going to be a celebration paper before they canned the late celebration, uh, is going to be online exclusive. So yes, it is. Both of the above. Thank you, Inika. So ink up. Stamp. Very, very... Oh, I've got this. I've got this. I've got A, it's self focusing but also woohoo zoom there we go but it does auto focus so things things should actually go into focus when I lift them up if we're lucky uh right so another piece of random card lying on my desk for the larger image The paper is gorgeous, yes. So for oh, chip nail varnish, how horrible. Um, so that will be going live tomorrow. Now, obviously, if you're a demo, you can see the pictures now. Um, but yes, all very exciting. So let me trim that down a bit. Let me trim this down a bit. And this, I'm going to use my big cut and emboss because then I can do it all in one pass. So let's get my big Bertha out. One big Bertha. Oh, thank you, Leslie. How's how are things with you, Leslie? Because you were having you were doing physio and things before I went to Vegas. I seem to remember. Right, dies are now buried under paper. Why would I expect anything else? So we need that one. Hello, Karen. Now, let's just, while I'm sorting this, let's just do a bit of housekeeping. So this is alive. Um, if when you joined, it said live, um, as in the title, it's live. Uh, if when you joined it said live replay, it's a replay. Um, and therefore, although you can still leave comments, they will be below the description bar. If you leave a comment, I won't be able to reply instantly because it's not live. Um, so just bear that in mind. If you want to be notified when I go live, then you need to subscribe and hit the notification bell for all notifications uh, and then you will get a you will get a notification by email when I go live. Um, if you enjoy what you see a thumbs up is always appreciated and if you really 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 enjoy what you see you can always share it to Pinterest or all sorts of things so share it to your friends so that they can see it too and that gets me really 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 happy 
So, physio tomorrow, still sore. Spring has sprung and my allergies have kicked in. Oh, no, that's not good. On top of everything else, that really is not good. But yes, of course, it's spring. It's we are, we are officially in the northern hemisphere in autumn. So what's happened? The temperature in the UK is now in the 30s. Couldn't make it up. And by 30s, I mean 30 cent centigrade, not Fahrenheit. So, yeah. <sighs> Schools are going back this week. You know, all that stuff. Why would we suspect that we would have autumnal weather now it's yeah it's life All right so let's just pop those back so that i know where they are for later and i am going to grab some of this paper oh i've not opened it before Right, so there are four designs in the paper. So this is the, hmm, that is, it's not cool classy. Oh, balmy blue. Couldn't work out what color it was, it's balmy blue. So uh, dots, they're irregular dots. Dashes, also irregular. Um, these stripes are, regular, are irregular and then we've got hearts so real good all-rounder summer was chilly and wet and now it's in the 30s yeah in in the Netherlands as well absolutely you just couldn't make it up so I am going to grab the A brain would be really helpful. I'm over my jet lag, but my brain is still over the Atlantic. Um, bubble bath. I keep wanting to call it bubble gum. On the coast, it's now 25 degrees. Yeah, well, you're getting a sea breeze. 29 degrees Celsius forecast for tomorrow, and we're warned that we can expect a very hot summer. Wow. So, yeah. We, in the UK, and quite a lot of the north of Europe, mm -hmm, summer, hot. Not so much. So that's going to go kind of there like that. I'm just making sure I've got the right colour. And I think I have. Do I want the hearts? No, I don't. Do I want the polka dots? Don't think so. Do I want that? No, I will stick with that. Right. OK, so. I almost can't remember how to craft. It's like that. Let me grab my white. So let's have some white. Come on. A piece of thick white. And then I want some bubble bath. Okay. It's weird. Um, oh, those of you who take my class in a box, I'm hoping they will be out today. Um, and also those of you who do my colour club, this is the last month for the colour club. And those hopefully will be out today as well. Um, soft seafoam. That's what I'm looking for. Right at the back. I reorganised my card when we got the new colours and I still can't get my head around where I've put things because I've put them alphabetically and I'm not sure that it's working for me, to be honest. Right, okie okay, Let me move some stuff. So I'm going to score this at, interesting, uh, I'm going to score this at 14.9 centimetres. If you're an old money like me, that's actually five and seven eighths. Kids are back to school in North Hampshire and the temperatures are in the upper 80s Fahrenheit. Yeah, well, they just that's just par for the course, Karen. Same in Ontario. Please tell me that the fires in British Columbia have now stopped. Could not believe that. And, oh boy, did we get the right week for backstage. Um, the weather in... 
The weather in Nevada has gone berserk. Um, right, so this is going to be five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just can't get my head around it. So that's five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. This is going to be three and three quarters by five and a half. Many of them are under control now. Well, thank heavens for that, frankly. I mean, it was just appalling. Uh, I think we're going to have that going up and down. Do I want to go as small as three? I kind of do want to go as small as three. And there is method in my madness. So I'm taking uh, three quarters of an inch off. So I'm going that size. That should be in proportion. And it is. Don't you love it when it works? Um, it's a rarity this week. So, yes, it's been quite fun getting my craft brain back on. OK, so soft sea foam onto bubble bath. Like that. And this is just going to go straight. Mm. No, I think I'm going to put it on dimensionals. However, so let's grab a card base and burnish. So this is going to go on there. This is going to go on with dimensionals. But I'm going to stick my stamped images on first. Like that. So it's going to be that way. So let's start by popping that on and then we'll have a bit of that and a bit of that. Possibly a little straighter. Yep. Right now. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, OK. Uh -oh. That's not what I was looking for. I was looking for my bubble bath ribbon, but it doesn't matter. We'll use something else. Um, we will use... Ooh, we could use that. I think we'll use that. It's going to be quite definite that we can use that. Good to hear that most files are out. I don't know where the file, all I know is they were British Columbia. I mean, it was just ridiculous. So, and as I say, um, Nevada, well, Las Vegas, the strip indeed, they had something like an inch of rain in 15 minutes. They're not built for rain in Nevada. The, the girl who took us back to the airport, the Uber driver, uh, Seal Plus, um, said they have rain about twice a year. Well, there was rain when we arrived. There was a shower coming from the airport. And um, now they've had this torrential rain. The flooding. I mean, ridiculous. Even on the strip. Right, so that's all done. Let me grab some dimensionals. Now, because this is paper, I'm going to have to be quite generous with my dimensionals um, because obviously it won't hold up quite as well as card because it is only paper. But we can do is use some of the edge pieces. I 
do love using the edge pieces. It feels almost like they're free. Now I'll put that one there because I want some of these longer edge pieces to go onto the ribbon but also onto the paper because that will help keep the ribbon in place. Nope, that won't fit. That can go. That can go there. They're all over British Columbia, but the worst ones are in the central area. That certainly the images I've seen have been absolutely dreadful for the fires. Well, for, for the for the extreme weather, I mean, it's just ridiculous. As I say, we we and quite a lot of Northern Europe have had a little summer until now. Um, but Southern Europe has had the most appallingly bad weather in that it's been really, really hot. Um, I mean, really hot. It's not as bad now, but it was dreadful. Getting chipped nail varnish everywhere. It's not an attractive look. Okay, that's that. And then these I am going to stick down with, where's my seal plus gone? Not my seal plus, my seal with seal and a cat hair. Now I'm doing, I'm going to put a little bit of liquid adhesive on, but if you know me, I don't like liquid adhesive on white card. So this one's then going to tuck in there, like that. And then this one will tuck in under there and hanging over the edge is fine. Don't have a problem with that, but I'm going to put a bit of dimensional just there. Just make sure I get the right. Yep, so it is really just there. The tiniest bit of dimensional. There we go. If you didn't know you can rip dimensionals, you do now. Uh, right. And I've already got in mind which embellishment I'm using. We do still need to do a sentiment, and I'm going to pop that over the ribbon a bit. Uh, but the embellishment I'm going to be using is this one. Oh, is it that one? Or... No. No. That one's the one I want. Because I want the white. There we go. on that. So I'm just going to pop some of these on now and then just to establish a kind of starting point. And then I'm going to do my sentiment. So stamp, always a good place to start. I think you're the best will do. Throw that around. And a piece of white card. Bubble gum, not bubble gum, bubble bath, I think. I don't really want to add another colour. Some are close to populated areas if homes are not in immediate danger. Oh, not good.
Now, hopefully this will be not only straight, but reasonably central. Or not. So that bit needs to come down a bit. That's better. So that's rubbish. That can go back in my pile of bits. So this is going to go there. So we need a dimensional there or bit of dimensional. That piece I ripped off will do perfectly. And then some seal. There we go, so that's that. I'm going to put a glue dot underneath that ribbon because the it's lifting it all up by having this on it. So let's grab a glue dot. Come on. Thank you. So I'm just going to poke this underneath like that. That will help hold that ribbon in place because lifting up is not what I want it to do. And now we can put on the last of our embellishments. Yeah, wildfires can happen all over. Uh, last summer when we had that ridiculously hot summer here in the UK, uh, there were wildfires going right, left and centre. Um, Hubby and I did a steam train trip down to Plymouth. Plymouth? Yes, Plymouth. Um, and they said that the one the following week was likely to be canned because of the hot weather. Um, because obviously with a steam train, you get sparks. And they were worried that that was going to catch the undergrowth. So there we go, that is our first card. What I might do is just do a stamped image on the inside. Um, bum, bum, bum. I need a scrappy scrap piece of paper. Oh, horrible, Karen. I'm sorry, and I'm sorry about lung cancer. Not great. Uh, right, so I'm just going to use one of the images that we've already got out, that one, and just ink that up to pop on the inside of my card. Then we're going to do something much brighter. Uh, the ink has probably come to the surface again, but it'll be fine. So we just got a little bit on the inside. Can you see that just about? Thank you, Karen. Thank you, Sherry. Right, so that's that one done. Let's go brighter. Let's clean the stamps first and then we'll go brighter. So yes, those of you who are in my creativity in a box um, class, Yesterday, I was doing lots and lots of punching and die cutting because um, we're using the ink tiled, inked and tiled even. Uh, so yes, lots and lots of punching to be done. I'd say by the end of it, I could quite happily have thrown the punches out of the window, but hey. Um, Right, let's get that out of the way. Let's grab these colours. So I'm going to go, as I say, completely different. So let's go Berry Burst. And I'm going to go Lemon Lime Twist because Berry Burst and Lemon Lime Twist, if my memory serves, were in colours at the same time. So let's try that. Burst. Lemon line twist. So I'm going to start with a basic white card 
base again. Let's get rid of our subtles because I'm now surrounded by pale colours. So, quick clear up. Soft sea foam right at the back. Bubble gum near at the front. So, let me grab Belly Burst. Berry Burst and Lemon Lime Twist, which we all thought was bright until we saw Parakeet Party. Okay, so let's. You use bubble bath too on my first. <laughs> that's that's weird, Inika. That really is weird, isn't it? Wow. Right. I'm only putting those away so I can sort of start again. I'm obviously still going to use the the that, which I don't think I've cleaned. Where's my scrap? Did I clean that? Oh. Maybe I did. Uh, so we're going to use that. We'll use the little baby. Little baby. And that's a leaf. That's a leaf. That one. Mm, don't want any more. Let's start with those and see where we go. Right. OK. So we've got our colour scheme. Let's grab some scraps of card and have a go. So let's start with the lemon lime twist. That's going to need pushing back because that's very juicy. Where did I put my... Oh, squashed it. There it is. Right, so... Very juicy. My berry burst is probably very juicy as well. So, ink that up. Nope. So these really are scraps. These were the bits that were left over from class prep. Oh, good. I'm glad, Leslie, that I can show you this. So that's the berry burst. No, it's not. It's the lemon lime twist. Good grief, woman. This isn't as juicy as I was suspecting it would be, so that's always good. Oh, it didn't mount it. I was thinking, where's the other stamp? Hadn't mounted it. There is a reason why I've left that hole, and it's for this. Because I'm hoping... No, that's going to be too close. OK, we'll put it there. That's fine. Do we want to do that another time? Yeah, I think we do. Let's have a few of these. It does mean we're going to have to use the die cutter a few more times, but that's fine. Just a rough cut again. Of course, had I thought about that, I could have done a rough cut and stamped there. However, I didn't. So that's all right. OK. Big Bertha. Big Bertha plates. Dies. Hello, Brenton. How are you? How is life treating you? Reasonably well, I hope. That 
way. Yes. Right. Okay. So this weekend, there is a team event for my larger team, so the team I'm a member of, rather than my specific team. We've My specific team have got their online retreat later this month, um, so that should be fun. But yes, we're having an in-person with the, te the larger team on, I want to say Saturday. But I can't remember off the top of my head. So yes, it'll be one of those occasions where I probably won't craft, I'll just natter. But one of the girls who's coming, hopefully, is someone who um, I get on with really, really well. She's unfortunately been going through the joys, I use the word loosely, obviously, of breast cancer. Um, and when she came to the event last year, at which point she was waiting for her results. So, yes, it'll be good to catch up with her. Life's good. About to go on holidays. Whoa. A four day pride cruise. Oh, brilliant. I'm sure that will be an absolute hoot. So where are you cruising? I mean, Australia, I would guess, but whereabouts? Okay, so let's pop those back. And I think then, in the last few minutes, we'll use the ones that are just dies. Uh, that goes up there. That would do if my fingers would work. Right, okay. So... We're using this and we're using the small check. And so we're going to use Berry Burst for the first layer, mat, whatever we're calling it. Might go a bit smaller this time. So I'll start with that and work backwards. So this is three and five eighths. So I'm taking a quarter of an inch off. So this needs to be five and three eighths. That's a quarter of an inch off my usual numbers. First holiday in 11 years, wow. Quite, not nearly enough, four days is not long enough after that much of a gap. No, that's too small. This is going to be very bright, I'm just saying. Ooh, that's almost made for the job. Right, so what's this? Right, so I need that to come down to four and seven eighths. So it's an actual measurement. So that's half an inch off this size. Come on. And this was three and five, so this needs to be three and a quarter. Three and five? No, three and one. Excuse me while I just get my brain in gear here. So that was, this is, dear Lord, maths, five and three eighths. This is four and seven eighths, so this, is not actually, uh, it should be that big. So it should be, just taking a little bit more off, three and five eighths. So this needs half an inch taking off, three and five eighths, so it needs to be three and a Three and a third, three and an eighth rather. So it needs to be that big. Let's get rid of all that fuzz that I've now got. Oh, maths is not easy at this time of the morning. 
yeah so I just need to trim that so that it's clean um, and then I'm going to go same again yeah um, so three inches by four and three quarters hopefully this is right if not I'll just trim it again we're leaving Sydney to Morton Island and back to Sydney. Oh, oh, you've got one coming up in March. Yay. That would be fantastic. Nine day cruise. Whoa. Right. So I'm just going to get my guillotine because this has got a fuzzy edge and I don't like it. So I need to go there. That gives me, when you t need to take a little bit off, the guillotine is much better. And no, we don't sell them anymore. Just saying. Okay, so we've got, this is going to be so in your face bright. Um, and I'm going to love it. Too busy working and saving to go on. But the way property market is at the moment, forget it. Well, there is that. Yeah, sometime, ooh. Very burst ink, lovely. Uh, sometimes you just need to go for it. Oh, South Pacific cruise, that would be, lo yeah. Wouldn't that be lovely? Well, I am very, very close within, I can smell it. Um, going to Cancun next year on the incentive trip. Uh, I've got to the end of the month to get everything lined up, but it's looking hopeful. So if anyone is in Europe and wants to help me get there, sneaky little orders are to be, you know, encouraged. Right. Okay. What can we put on there? Ooh. Is that parakeet mm. No. No. No, Liz, that won't work. We'll, we'll ignore ribbon. Not doing ribbon. Right, so this time I am going to use some dimensionals, but I'm going to put glue on the bottom. Actually, I'll put the dimensionals on first. That's always a plan. Um, so we're going to go for things lifting up. Hello, Jenny. And then, as I say, we'll do a sneaky final with just the dies. Right, that should be more or less all right for that. I really must hoover the floor in here. I came back having, having you know, last minute panics. Uh, I came back, took one look at the floor and went, oh dear Lord, you can tell I was doing a rush job before I went away. Right, so again, I think I'm going to have that there. Although it may be. I think it may be there, actually. So we're going to go under that and over everything else. So. That works. Right. So under that and over everything else. And then these I'm just going to pop. Where's me? Ooh, these are these are out of a kit. I can tell because they're big, as in large sheet. Right, so let's just grab one of these for each. And then randomly pop these on. One there. One just, actually we'll have that underneath just there. And this one. 
pop in. I should probably put this one on before the other two because I want this one in an ideal world. Let's take that off. I was going to say in an ideal world to sneak in there. So I think what I need is a small dimensional, not a big Bertha of a dimensional. Right, let's try that again. So I want that in there. Like that. Right, okay, so let's grab our card base. Hello, Sally. From Georgia, loving the colours. Good. They're very clashy, but they kind of work. Oh no, chronic migraine. Horrible. Horrible. that. Then let's grab a sentiment. I think I'm going to stick with you're the best, but we're going to do it this time in mm, no lemon lime twist for a bit of a contrast. I used to get clusters. Oh, Jenny, has have you tried Aust uh, cranial osteopathy. My mother used to have, they weren't migraines, but chronic headachey things. Um, and she swore by um, that cranial osteopathy. Oh, that's even worse. Right, let's try and concentrate on this, shall we? That's not too bad. We'll we'll settle for that one. And then I'm going to bring back in the same sequins and pick them up. Because these technically are meant to be berry burst, I believe. They may not be. I think they're meant to be. Right. Dimensional. a bit further along but it's fine it's fine so that's going to go over that this is where we see how not straight my straight edges are because I've put them on straight bits but that's fine we are going to hide them So this is going to be quite subtle colour on colour uh, because these are slightly translucent. So they kind of blend into the background a bit. So that's that card. Right, die cutting. So we're going to do one more very quick card. Uh, Brenton loves the Gingham DSP. I do. I keep forgetting I've got it, but I do like it. Right. Dyes. Where have you gone, dyes? I'll put you down somewhere. There you are, hiding under my berry burst and lemon lime twist. So those are the two stamped cards. So both pink and green. Lovely to finally watch. Like, I know, isn't it great? Need to go 
children want their lunch. <laughs> Not surprised. Yes, it is coming up 12 o'clock. Well, it was lovely to see you live. I mean, see you live, Tracy. Um, look after yourself. Don't work too hard. I know you, I mean, you don't really have a choice, but she, uh, Tracy fosters babies. Um, so it's fairly full on. Uh, oh, getting worse with age. So yes, that's those. Um, I think we may stick in that whole pink green area. I mean, green, obviously, for leaves. So I'm just going to die cut all of the f solids and work from there, really. Because I'm thinking we've got one small and one large. So let's do centers as well. Come on, off you come. Right, let's see if I can do all of this in one pass. <gasps> it's going to be fun. Sucker for plaid start and gingham buffalo check and pack. Well, why not? Seven times in six weeks. Good heavens. That is awful. Poor chap. Uh, lemon lime twist. Poor you as well. So lemon lime twist goes in there. Berry burst goes under book for berry. There we go. So I'm thinking, let's have a look at my colours. Ooh, ooh, we could go there. That's going to be quite in your face. But then we could turn it down. Mm. Ooh, right. OK, we're going to go bright again. Um, we're going to go melon bamboo and... And, 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 Granny Apple. And I'm going to go on a black base. So, let's get the card base dealt with. So that needs to be trimmed there. So that's our card base. And I am just going to die cut and see where we go from there. Let's see what scrappity scraps we've got. That will work. That will work. I need a little bit of black. Might have an oops, might have a big enough piece here. I'll do for that, but not for that. That's annoying. No, I don't have a small bit of black. Okay, that's fine. We need to make a small bit of black. We just sometimes have to cut into a piece of card. It just has to be done. So, let's get that away. Let's get that away. Get my big Bertha out. So. Don't need quite that much green. I may have to do two passes on the green. Right, let's go that end. Okay, so let's start with just the one piece and work from there. So we just need one piece for that. Let's do the black. And the green. So we're going to probably need to do some more green, but that's fine. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, Sally, you're not you're not alone in that. But yes, it's the it's just called the gingham, gorgeous gingham. Yeah. Oh, so let's get rid of anything that isn't green because I'll need the green again. And then we will just build from there. I have no, I've never used these dies before, so this could be interesting. There's my card base. Right, I have made an executive decision and I'm going to go, I'm going to get a bit of white, which I have on my desk. I know I do because I tidied them up just now. Oh, where have you gone? Hello, I know you're here somewhere because I tidied you up. Fatal mistake tidying up. There we go. I mean, we're going to need white for the inside as well. So we're going to go white, then we're going to do a smaller black layer and obviously the white will go on the inside but we are going to build on black so uh, mm, I think I'll go a little bit wider with my white layer so that's we're taking a quarter of an inch off I hope yes Okay, so let's get rid of all the toot and look at what we've got. Oh, come along. This is going to be the fastest card in the world. Right, so we've got our two larger ones, which are going to go together like that. I'm going to shape them a bit. So... Just going to give them a bit of a going over. So I'm curling them backwards, but I'm going to then stick them together so that the backward curl is on top of each other. But when you push it down, you get that nice curl. So do I want that one over there? Hmm. I don't know whether I want that one over that one or that one over that one. I think I'll go that one over that one. Right, so glue dot. Come on, thank you. So that's going like that. So we'll pop that there-ish, I think. Then we're going to do the same with this. So you do need to hold on to that middle piece because this is the thinnest bit that you're pulling against. Um, so it could rip, so be careful. And we'll give the leaves a bit of a curl too. Right, okay, so we need some glue in the middle of that. For the center like that hold it down for a moment and then that as I say will go on with a glue dot 
Uh, I think we can just about manage a glue dot for this. Might have to fold my glue dot, but right now I think it'll fit. Oops, they have a life of their own. They're almost like orchids. I mean, they're not, but they're almost. They've got the wrong number of petals, I think. Right, okay. So I'm just going to stick my black to my white so I've got my proportions in the right headspace. Like that. And I don't know why I put my glue dots away because I still want them. So, glue dot. Other glue dot. So, do you remember lots happening tomorrow? Um, which tomorrow will be earlier for some of us than others, because for those of you in the South Pacific, tomorrow comes fairly soon, I would imagine. But yeah, new catalogue, designer series paper, limited num limited edition, all sorts, lots and lots of excitingness. Uh, right, just to help that curl stay for the leaves, I'm going to pop a dimensional kind of in the middle of the curl. So that will then help keep it up, otherwise it could flatten. So we'll have that there. 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 And last one. Three hours to go till midnight. Whoa! Yes, then you can order to your heart's content. Oh, and there is a new kit coming. But if you're in Europe, not so much. It's late. So there's another one of the Christmas kits on its way. Um, have you got it in the South Pacific? You seem to be doing quite well on the kits at the moment. Where do I want this? No, I don't want it there. I want it in here. But what I am going to have there is the sentiment, which I am going to do the same again. So the congrat... The thinking of you, whatever it is, you're the best, that's the one. But I am going to heat emboss with white. Very quickly. So. Let's just hope I can stamp it straight this time. So yes, I've got to write my shopping list for product shares and all that good stuff. Oh, it's straight and everything. Good heavens. And over inked too. Let's get rid of that. I did one of those rash things yesterday. I filled up my Versamark. Who knew that Versamark actually ran out? 
I was doing some, oh, uh, the, um, the sticky glue powder and it wasn't sticking to the Versamark and I realised I hadn't re-inked my Versamark for ages. Right, give that a waft. Then what I am going to do while I remember is grab that, grab that, grab that. <laughs> Set your alarm so you can get all the new DSP. I do know that feeling. So, berry burst on... I now know why I'm... Ink. No wonder I'm getting inky fingers. Um, yes, all the, uh, all the new inks. Um, inks. All the new papers. Uh, there it is. Can't see it for looking. Right, so let's pop this on the inside. Like that. And this goes on the outside, strangely. Oh, do I want any? No, it's fine. Grab my brush, which comes with the additions, the embossing additions, because that gets the burst, the um, powder off. Chop. Black dimensionals. Oop, that one's coming off the end. Not a good idea. That's better. So that's going just, oh, actually it can go off the edge, just there. And then I'm grabbing those same embellishment, or that same embellishment. Oh, do I want the pink? I'm going to go with the pink. I think, yeah. And then, my friends, we will be done for today's live. So, so yes, um, it's good to be back. It would be even better if my stamping brain was working, because it's not really. I have done some recorded videos of some of the stuff we got whilst we were in Vegas, my swaps, uh, the swag, all that good stuff. Um, so those will be coming as pre-recorded or pre-shot, pre-recorded? Well, of course they're pre-recorded. Anywho, so those are our three cards for the day, all quite different. Thank you, Nora. I hope you enjoyed them. Um, so yes, versatile really versatile set let's put that one in the middle because that may this is a bit bright oh no it's okay thank you rose thank you leslie so yes all quite different but all from the same bundle just changing colors using the dyes you know use what you've got thank you very much for this live oh thank you the last card is awesome bless you um, really easy to put together, just, you know, roll it all through the die cutter. Anyway, let me flip the camera back up so I can say goodbye properly. 
It's a great set, Brenton. Thank you, Sherry. So thank you very much indeed for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Well, you did. Um, if it says replay on the heading, you'll be watching the replay. Um, if you've got any questions or comments on the replay, just pop those below the description bar and I will get back to you on those. I'm reasonably up to date, not totally, but reasonably. Um, and lots more videos coming this week. Some I recorded before I went to one stage, uh, sorry, backstage, assuming I was going to be posting them while I was there and I didn't. Um, but yeah, so good luck tomorrow with catalogue launch day. Hope it goes well for you all. And I will see you live again next Tuesday. Thank you very much indeed for joining me. Have fun till then. Bye for now.